Hello and welcome to Lesson Scylla. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can enable RDP or remote access to a domain controller for a non-administrator user or a standard user. Without further ado, let's go ahead and see how it's done. So this is a brand new domain controller that I've just created for this video. The first thing that we're going to do is to enable remote access to this server or to this domain controller. In order to do that, I'm going to open command prompt as administrator. So type CMD, right click on it and run as administrator. When it opens up as administrator, type sysdm.cpl and this system properties window will open up. Click on the remote tab. By default, it will be set to don't allow remote connections to this computer, and we're going to change that. Click allow remote connections to this computer. Make sure to leave this tick box turned on. This adds an additional level of security um, at the network level. One thing to keep in mind is if you're a domain administrator, when you enable this setting, that's all you have to do. By default, domain administrators group is included in the remote desktop access group. So by default, if you're a domain administrator, this is all you have to do. But since we are providing access to a standard user, there are a couple of steps that are involved. So the next step that you have to do is select users. And I'm going to add my standard user in here. We have to name the user explicitly. So I'm going to search for the user and add the user explicitly in here. So this user is allowed to remotely access this domain controller. Click OK, click Apply, click OK. There's one more step that you have to do. The last step or the final step is to enable RDP access for the standard user at the local group policy level. So let's open up local group policy editor. I'm going to type GP edit and hit enter. This will open up local group policy editor. Let me expand the window and I'll move this a little bit further so we can see this clearly. Um, under computer configuration, expand windows settings, expand security settings, expand local policies, click on user rights assignment. And I'm just going to sort this so it's easy to read. Okay, so the first setting that you can see here, allow logon through remote desktop services. So by default, administrators are in this policy. So as I mentioned before, they can um, access any domain controller within the forest. So right now, I am going to open up this policy and add Peter, my test user, to this policy as well. So Peter is all good to go now. As you can see, Peter has been added. I'm going to click Apply and OK. Now, if Peter tries to RDP into this domain controller by using the hostname or the IP address, Peter will be able to successfully remotely access this domain controller, even though he's not in the domain admins um, user group. Now, one thing to remember is be very careful when you're giving standard users access to domain controllers. This might need to happen in order for a vendor uh, that you work with to have access to a domain controller. So there are specific situations why you may need to take down this route. But as soon as the job is done, make sure that you remove standard users from RDP access to a domain controller because we want to keep our environment as secure as possible. So thank you for watching today's video, guys. I hope you learned something new. If you did, please consider subscribing for my channel. Um, if you've got any questions, put a comment below and I'll try my best to answer them. And yeah, that's all for today. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching again. Take care. Bye-bye.